so tired. Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. I'll do that, Birch. I'm a bad dream, and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. They're only... Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't know. Here's a friendly call. Oh, I'll pray to the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now. his voice cut through the monologue hey hartman where's al hartman stopped in mid-sentence annoyed at the interruption he nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby the man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on barry's shoulder hammer's way will have its say rise up in their name Stage is all yours, Tom! Seize your destiny! Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her. Come heart. out and face she the music, Birch! It's she time to pay the piper! I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. Maybe That's where he'd be keeping them. and we are wrinkled, adult, diapered asses, Birch. Since you're so tough, Birch. We were on the road. Let me 
Do you hear me? Uh, I'm gonna show you a crazy quack after. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Hartman wasn't happy. Maud could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time, and he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent, he's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me, because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him, and we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here, even when he's home. Please help me, doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Rudolph Lane's case is interesting. He was completely blocked, and frankly, I was about to discard him as useless. However, once Wake arrived and started writing, something changed in Rudolph. He's producing extraordinary work, increasingly dark pieces. Unfortunately, he doesn't respond to direction at all, and it's my belief that he's not so much a creator as an illustrator, perhaps, a recorder of sorts. I hadn't considered the existence of such a role before, let alone its implications, but the paintings he has produced are informative. At least he's easily controlled and useful. I wish I could say the same about Wake. It's frustrating that the best subjects are always so damn difficult to deal with. I'm buying that. I was tailing Wheeler, and this is the only place he could have gone. That means Wake is probably there too! Agent Nightingale. This is private property, and I will not allow you to disturb my patients. Yeah? I can get a warrant. How are your fragile little patients like that? <laughs> oh, I'm thoroughly intimidated by your mighty authority now, Agent. Listen, you smug snob. How would you like it if I busted through this gate and knocked you around a little? Agent Nightingale, first of all, I'm recording this conversation, so you might want to watch what you say. Secondly, you're not dealing with a hick now. I know the law, and if you can get a judge to grant a warrant, I'll be glad to cooperate. But you won't get one. Be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't believe this. Good day, Agent. Yeah, 